Derfier, like Der Prophet, had to condemn those who stood in his way. Although both dictators became what they denounced, they had to clear the world of rivals. Mein Kampf, 367. Worst of all are those who abuse religious convictions for political purposes. One cannot proceed too aggressively against those wretched profiteers who like to see in religion an instrument which may render them political or commercial service. These impudent liars shout their creed into the world with a stentorian voice in order that others might die for it so that they might live better. The entire faith is for sale. For the seat of power they would certainly marry the devil. This is as clear a definition of the modus operandi behind Islam as was ever written. Muhammad and Allah were simply more crude. Quran 59 verse 7 Whatever booty Allah gives to his apostle is for Allah and his apostle. Accept what the apostle gives you, and refrain from what he forbids. Bukhari Abu Bakr said, By Allah, I will fight whoever differentiates between prayer and the zakat tax, as the zakat is rightfully taken from property according to Allah's orders. If they refuse to pay me even so little as a kid they used to pay Allah's apostle, I will fight them for withholding it. Bukhari Umar sent Muslims to great countries to fight pagans. He said, I intend to invade Persia and Rome. When we reached the enemy, we said, We are Arabs. Our prophet, the messenger of our Lord, ordered us to fight you until you serve Allah alone, or pay us the jizya tribute tax in submission. Our prophet has informed us that our Lord says, Whoever amongst us is killed as a martyr shall go into paradise to lead a luxurious life, and whoever survives shall become your master. There are three reasons I believe this review of Mein Kampf is important. First, the religious texts of Nazism and Islam are so similar, the world will gain a new appreciation of how polygious doctrines teach men to hate, seduce them to plunder, and compel them to murder. The veil of religiosity will be removed from Islam, and with it, the unwarranted protection it has granted vis-à-vis -vis its religious status. Second, the consequence of the world's ignorance and tolerance of Mein Kampf was devastating. The synthesis of Nazism and modern technology stole millions of lives. Imagine what a similar doctrine would do with unlimited financial resources, nuclear and biological weapons. Third, Mein Kampf is an insightful book, albeit in a sinister way. It's like having the author's notes to the Quran. It's like having an unguarded conversation with Muhammad. Hitler gives us the methodology behind the madness. Consider this insight. Mein Kampf, 379. With a clever and persistent application of propaganda, even heaven can be palmed off on a people as hell, and the other way around. The most wretched life can be presented as paradise. In all of human history, no one was better at this than Allah's messenger. At their core, both Islam and Nazism were war manifestos, in their hearts, both Mohammed and Hitler were terrorists. Of the seventy-five raids chronicled in the Quran and Hadith during the first decade of the Islamic era, only two were defensive. The Muslims lost one, Uhud, and barely escaped the other, Trench. The Islamic terrorists quickly learned how to be offensive. Having studied them, Der Fuhrer agreed. Mein Kampf 376 the goal must be to achieve a superior fighting power. Success lies only in the offensive. 384. What the German people owe the army may be summed up in a single word. Everything. The army taught personal courage. In other words, martyrdom. In a time when cowardice, Mohammed's view of peace, threatened to become a spreading disease, and when the willingness to sacrifice, to stand up for the general welfare, was looked upon as stupidity. Much of this Hitler could have simply copied from the Medina Suras. The translators of Mein Kampf protest, 
Not to have foreseen what was to come was the tragic blunder of Woodrow Wilson, a blunder which was worse than any crime. I suppose these men would also view George Bush as a criminal, as he ignored even better tools from which to foresee the future. The Kron and Suna are no less coy. Dear Fuhrer viewed the army as favorably as did his mentor. Mein Kampf, 386. The army teaches young men obedience. The German army is the most powerful weapon in the service of freedom. Quran, 61, verse 4. Surely Allah loves those who fight in his cause as an army in full formations, as though they were a compact wall. Mein Kampf, 234. To condition the soldier for the terrors of war, the enemy must be introduced as a barbarian. Muhammad wanted to annihilate Jews so that they wouldn't continue to expose him as a fraud. After all, they held the receipts. They knew where he had purchased his scripture. Hitler, likewise, had stolen the dogma of National Socialism from the Jewish Marxists. If he killed them all, no one would ever know. It was his final solution. Mein Kampf, 392. Historical experience offers countless proofs of this. We have heard this before. It shows with terrible clarity that with any mixing of blood of the Aryan with lower races, he's speaking about Jews, the result is the destruction of culture. It is nothing less than sinning against the will of the eternal Creator. By trying to resist this logic of nature, the dark spirit of Nazism, man becomes entangled in a fight against his own existence, an attack that will lead to his doom. So the stupid and impudent Jew objects along with the modern pacifist, by saying, man conquers nature. Millions mechanically and thoughtlessly repeat this Jewish nonsense. They have no weapons at their disposal except this wretched idea.